Imagine your grandmother gets scammed and decides to go on her own Mission Impossible adventure. Well, that is what you get when you have Thelma. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. My name is Zach, and today we're reviewing the brand new indie film Thelma. This is about 93-year-old Thelma Post who gets screwed over by a phone scammer pretending to be her grandson. She sets out on a treacherous quest across the city to reclaim what was taken from her. This is directed and written by Josh Margolin. It stars June Squibb, who I absolutely love, Fred Hatchiger, Richard Roundtree, Parker Posey, Clark Gregg, and others. And for me, Thelma is one of those films that I've just kept hearing good things about. Premiered at some early film festivals this year, great buzz. Premiered at the Phoenix Film Festival, my hometown's festival, to great buzz. Finally got to check it out, and it put a damn good smile on my face. This is one of those comedies that I think genuinely anyone could go and watch and they will get a laugh out of, they will get a joke out of, and they will understand, and I like from the perspective of how they did it, because some people might think, oh, maybe this is for the older category of viewing audiences, and I would actually disagree, I think younger people who do have a grandparent that they are lo in love with and are close with can also find some humor in this too, since it is two different storylines. It focuses on Thelma Post quite a bit, but it also focuses in on her grandson and certain things that he's going through, which I just kind of felt a little bit of relatability to. So I'm very excited to talk about Thelma today. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below, hit that like and subscribe button, and without further ado, I like starting with the talking about the pros. Hey guys, what's going on? Just kind of putting a little side thing in this review for Thelma. I actually got a chance to interview the director, but sadly the video footage did not pan out well. So I just wanted to kind of give a thought and say how much I thought Josh was a fantastic director to talk to and some of his inspirational things and generally how he actually crafted Thelma itself and how it came from a relationship with his actual grandmother Thelma and how they grew up watching movies together and that was one of the big key aspects and specifically seeing how Thelma has a relationship with her son or grandson in here watching Mission Impossible there were some action films that really much relayed to that all I again cannot say enough how great of a person Josh was I wish I had the interview to share but I had to mention it before going on further into this review and the best part about this, I genuinely think, is June Squibb's performance. I think she is so damn good in here in terms of humor, in terms of caring and understanding why she wants to get this, and also just in general, the references that she brings to this. You know, as I mentioned from the start, I mentioned talking about Mission Impossible. And there's a reason that I mentioned that is because... This kind of does feel like Mission Impossible at times just for the older generation and what they can do. There's one little clever sequence where she's going through this like antique shop and she has to kind of like jump over a little thing, maneuver around stuff. And while again, I could probably have done that within a couple of seconds, seeing how an older 93 year old woman is also going through this. And the fact that she was watching Mission Impossible Fallout earlier in the film just all tied back to that. And it was very clever. And June just brings that comedic timing to such a T. And the rest of the cast, such as Fred Parker and, of course, Clark Gregg, I think also do a great job on the supporting cast in terms of trying to find where their grandmother went. Since they know she got screwed over, they know she's going after these people. And I felt satisfied in that avenue, seeing how... Her family does care about her and seeing how she is so transfixed on getting her money back and proving that scammers are just assholes. And, you know, if you look into the news, you can see so many different things where we see so many older generation of people getting screwed over by phone scammers, email scams and all sorts of things like that. Look at uh, The Beekeeper earlier this year with Jason Statham, an actual straight action movie that did have a little bit of comedy on the side. And it was about a man going after phone scammers. Very hilarious. I like how we're touching into these aspects and again Thelma delivers the good laughs on something that is actually a very serious concern in our world alongside this I think what it really comes down to this is while this film on the surface can give those laughs and give that entertainment in terms of our care for the elderly and how we should feel towards this and I really liked seeing the bond between Thelma and her grandson. I think that's actually one of the more touching aspects of the entire film. I know for me, I'm very close with my grandmother and my grandpa, and I feel very blessed to be able to have those relationships because not everyone does. In fact, I mean, they were even dancing at my wedding which is a blast. Those core memories and core moments and to see how Thelma builds up those moments with her grandson, I think is very special. And also one of the things that's super special and again, relatable to me is you see Thelma bonding with her grandson over watching again, a movie. 
And that's actually one of the big core aspects of why I do this and who got me into movies is my own grandmother. It comes down to going to the movies almost every week as a kid. My grandmother was the one taking me. She'd ask me, what do you want to go see it? And I would tell her, even if it was something like Tropic Thunder. Yeah, not the best choice on my part, but I had a blast and she enjoyed watching me laugh. This also goes to Josh Margolin, who is the director and writer of this. And again, how he's able to bring all these intersecting ideas and make it work. And that's where I just go and think Thelma is just a delightful little movie that not many people are going to see in theaters. So if you're watching this review, definitely please make time for it. And if you aren't watching this and you're watching it later when maybe Thelma hits streaming, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd be very surprised if you didn't like this movie. Even in terms of when it comes down to my issues with the film, I really just felt that the film was just like maybe five to eight minutes a little bit too long. And I actually would have liked a little bit more of hijinks with Thelma and Richard Roundtree, or maybe just even a little bit more bonding experiences with them. Maybe just a couple little small conversations to move the story a little bit further and specifically their dynamic. But those are nitpicks beyond belief. So with all that said, I'm going to give Thelma a B. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy.